Hello, welcome to Aspire to Soar. My name's Kerry and today we're going to be talking about PMS or premenstrual syndrome. Just before we get started, I do want to say hello and welcome if you are new to the channel. Please do hit the subscribe button below and turn on the little bell and then you'll get notifications whenever a new video goes out. But for today, we're going to talk about PMS. Now, PMS describes a range of symptoms that happen to women in the week or weeks leading up to their period. Now, for some women, they hardly suffer with this at all and they don't get anything. And for others, we get everything thrown at us from anxiety to tiredness to irritability, mood swings. We can't sleep. We get tender breasts. We get headaches. We get bloating. We get it all, everything, every single month. And life becomes so difficult for us. Now, the problem is in the society we live in, we don't talk about it. We tend to sweep it under the rug. We pretend it's not happening. Conversations aren't encouraged. Conversations in the workplace aren't encouraged about how our PMS is that week or how we're feeling. As, as a whole, in general, for any topic in society, we don't talk about how we're feeling. But things that are classed as women's problems tend to not be spoken about at all. And if they are spoken about, they're spoken about in a way that humiliates you by laughing at you and saying, oh, you're hormonal, you're, you know, this is who you are because of your hormones. And that's humiliating and shaming. So these things happen to us every single month. And what I want to encourage is a conversation between you and your body, because what happens when we suppress everything that's happening to us, we tend to start to develop a dislike of our body, a mistrust, or we start to feel like we're just a victim of our body and we have no control over what happens at all. And that's just not true. So I want to encourage this conversation to open up between you and your body. And today we're gonna to tap on some of the symptoms that occur. But what I want you to do is pay attention while we're tapping to anything that your subconscious throws up to you. So while we're tapping on the symptoms, a particular incident might come to mind and it might have absolutely nothing to do with your period. Now it's important just to note that down and keep a note of it um, to, to look back on because that may be something that you need to work on to tap on because often when we get our hormones coming in when it's the time for our period and for us to release what we don't need from our bodies, this is the time when we can heighten our emotions. So things that have been there for a long, long time things that we have swept under the rug and we pretend didn't happen, even going back as far as our childhood, can start to come bubbling up again and they can be intensified. And we don't even realise that it's coming from this old stagnant energy that we're still carrying around with us every day. So I want you to note them down as we're tapping along and we'll see where we come to with that. Now, when we tap, all you need to do is to tap with me, do what I do, say what I say. Now, I'm going to stick really, really broad to broad symptoms when we tap. But if there's something that's really particular for you, then please do tap on that as well. Just throw it in as we're tapping along. I'll make sure I leave space for you to add in anything that you want to add in. So I'll talk you through the points as we tap and show you where they are. And you just need to follow along. So we're going to start on the side of our hand here, sort of where you would if you were going to do a karate chop and we're going to tap with the fingers of the other hand. OK. So all you need to do is repeat after me. Even though I have all of these PMS symptoms, I'm irritable, I've got mood swings, anxious, tired, I'm bloated, got headaches, and I really hate my body right now. I still choose to completely and deeply forgive and accept myself. Even though I dislike my body right now. I feel like I am just a victim of my hormones. I have no control over how I feel. And I hate that. Why does this happen to me? It's just not fair. And nobody understands what I go through month after month after month. But I still choose to completely and deeply forgive and accept myself. Even though I have all of these PMS symptoms and I feel out of control, I don't feel like myself. 
and it's not fair. Nobody understands how I feel. And I can't talk about it. I hate that I am a victim of my own body. And I dread this time of the month when I have to deal with all of these symptoms. But I still choose to completely and deeply forgive and accept myself. Okay, we're going to start on the top of our head and we're going to tap these PMS symptoms. side of your eyebrow. They're ruining my life. Side of your eye. I hate feeling this way. Under your eye. I feel uncomfortable in my own body. Under your nose. I am not in control of my body. Under your lip, and I hate feeling this way. Under your collarbone, it's not fair. Why do I have to go through this? Why is it worse for me? I hate feeling this way. Nobody understands. Just under your arm. Nobody understands how I feel. your head, these PMS symptoms. I hate them. Side of your eye. I hate my body. Under your eye. I just want to hide in bed until they go away. Under your nose. It's just not fair. Why me? Under your chin. Why do I have to feel this way? Why do I get these PMS symptoms? So bad. Why does my body do this to me? I am just a victim of my body. I am not in control. My hormones are in control. And they say how I feel. And I hate it. I just don't feel like myself. I hate feeling like this. It's not fair. These PMS symptoms, they're just not fair. Okay. Now take a deep breath in and we're going to breathe in for five and then we're going to really blow it away for five. So in one, two, three, four, five, and then really blow it away. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I want you to take note of how you're feeling now. Did anything come up for you while you were tapping? Did your subconscious throw anything up for you? If it did, I want you to get out a piece of paper and just pause the video and write that down now because it's important for you to be able to come back to that and to think about what's what's happened on those episodes and to tap through them if you can just to clear that old energy because it is obviously there and it obviously needs to be dealt with okay now for the second half of the session i want to tap on putting some positive intentions into our body of telling our body that we understand how we've been feeling but we'd like it to be a little bit different going forward so we're going to start again on the side of our hand and we're going to tap with the fingers of the other hand and we're going to say even though i have these pms symptoms i am open to letting them go they don't serve me anymore they don't help me they just make my life hard i choose to set them free and I choose to completely and deeply forgive and accept myself, even though I have these PMS symptoms. 
and they make my life really hard. I choose to let them go. I choose to honour my body. I choose to embrace my feminine power and celebrate it. And I choose to completely and deeply forgive and accept myself, even though I've had these PMS symptoms. I'm willing to let them go. They no longer serve me. They don't help me. I choose to know what is happening to my body is a natural process. My body is clearing out the old and getting ready to renew. And I can embrace that. I can honour my body and I can embrace this feminine power. I choose to completely and deeply forgive and accept myself. Move to the top of our head. I choose to release any anxiety that I am holding on to in my body. Side of your eyebrow. I choose to let go of any anger that I am holding on to in my body. Side of your eye. I choose to let go of any shame or any humiliation I am holding on to in my body. And your eye. I choose to let go of feeling worthless, of feeling ashamed. I let that go. I choose to embrace my body. I choose to honour my body. I choose to embrace my feminine power. I choose power over victimhood. I choose to know I am not a victim of my emotions. I have that choice. I can choose to embrace this monthly cycle. I can choose to let go of all of the emotions that do not serve me. I can embrace this monthly cycle as a gift, a way that I can release all of this unwanted energy from my body. This feminine power is given to me every month. It's a new opportunity every month to let go. All of this unwanted energy that I carry in my body. And I choose to let it go. I choose to let these PMS symptoms, let them go. They don't serve me anymore. They're not helping me. And I can embrace this gift. This gift from my body. This opportunity to release and let go of all of those negative emotions, all of this unwanted energy that I have stored in my body. This is my chance to let it go. My body is having a physical clear out, is preparing for that. And I can have a mental clear out. I can have an emotional clear out. 
and face the next three weeks fresh. I'm ready to embrace my feminine power, to clear this space, to invite new energy. I can choose to embrace this time. That is my choice. And I choose to embrace this opportunity that my body has given me right now. Okay, let's take another deep breath in for five. One, two, three, four, five, and then really blow it away. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now do reassess now. Was anything, did anything else come to mind? If it, if it did, then please do note it down again. Now, I did just want to say, if you are struggling with physical symptoms, like a real strong headache that hasn't alleviated at all from this session, then please do check in with another video that I've done that I will link to below um, about how to deal with physical pain using tapping. And it may be a few rounds of just concentrating in on, on your headache might help just to get rid of that for you. But this energy, I hope you're feeling lots of fresh, gorgeous, lovely energy coming in now and that your PMS symptoms are lifting and you're feeling lighter. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.